So here's a quick update to the restringing video. We had some folks ask us and say we really needed to do a better job of showing how to actually put the string on the tuning post here. So I'm going to show you a couple different really easy ways of doing this. Another thing we were asked about is how do they know which string goes where? The Dario does this really awesome thing where they color code all the balls to make it pretty simple and make it pretty easy to determine which string is which. It doesn't really matter what order you put them on in, but for the sake of this, we're gonna start with the heaviest string. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab an E string here. So this first method is tried and tested. This is what you might call the Jim Armenti method, which is just to put the string through the hole and start winding. The one thing you want to make sure is you get that extra string over. Yo, you know where the party's at? And then you get each one going underneath the last one there. So that's what you call an E string installation. There are two winds there. You'll notice that the bottom wind is where the string winds. You don't want to wind backwards. That is having the wind go up. It's okay to have one or two like this. Three is pretty good too, but you don't really need to overdo it and go past that. This is the method that I like to use, and basically how this works is I will run the string through once, wrap it around one time. Of course, my hand's right in the way, but you'll see that it's basically as if I had turned it all the way around one time. There's one more wind on the A string than there is on the E string, and again, that's totally fine. Two or three or four winds is all right, but you don't want to overdo it. Once the strings run out of space, it's actually not really good for the guitar, so you just want to try to keep it as neat and as coiled as possible there. What I tell a lot of people is it's not necessarily hard to change your strings, but it's also not hard to mess it up. So you want to make sure that they're on there the right way. Hopefully this video clears up some of that stuff. If you have any questions, Leave it in the comments and let us know if there's anything else we can help you out with. Thanks for watching.